Hello there! In this lesson we'll be painting this Northern Lights landscape using acrylic and oil paints. So let's get into it. We're using a 50 by 76 centimetre canvas. For brushes I'll be using the 15 piece brush wallet. I'm also using an Easy Clean palette, lamp black satin acrylic, fluoro green acrylic and a 75 millimetre abstract expression brush to apply the green background. Cover the entire canvas and make the coat as smooth as you can. Acrylic paint provides a nice underbase for oil paints. Once the fluoro green is on and dry, I refer to the first image in the PDF and lay in the lines to represent each pine tree trunk with lamp black acrylic paint. Notice the trees lean more closer they are to the edge of the canvas. This is called forcing the perspective or exaggerating the effect if you like. Now the position of the trunks are in, we can thicken them at the base and taper them so each one is thinner at the top. Once this is done, we can add the leaves and branches for each pine tree. I use a small filbert to do this. You can refer to the last image in the PDF if you would like some guidance. This is the second image in the PDF and it outlines the rough placement of each colour. The oil paints we'll be using are zinc white, turquoise, phthalo blue, magenta, violet, monastrol cerulean, light green and some thickened linseed oil to create the glaze in the last stage. I then apply these blocks of colour, the first one being phthalo blue. I don't lay the colour on too thickly as it is easier to blend colours together if the paint is thinner. I use a large flat brush to do this. I then lay on the magenta block. Magenta is a fairly translucent colour and the green beneath it will darken the colour slightly. Again I apply this colour thinly and scrub it over the trees. I don't use any medium at this stage, just straight out of the tube. Although magenta is not opaque, it does have very good tinting strength. As I put down the blocks of colour, I lay them up next to each other so when I have all of them on the canvas, I can blend each of the colours together. The next colour to go on is the violet, followed by the cerulean blue. I'll also say you might like to add more colours, or less colours, or maybe in a different pattern. If you google Northern Lights, you will see a diverse range of colours and the many different patterns in which they form over the sky. I create a violet mixed with white and lay it in around the trees. I can then blend it into the cerulean blue. It is a lot easier to blend oil paint than acrylic paint. 
Both paints have their strengths and weaknesses though, but it's all about exposing the strengths. I continue to cut the background colour into the trees. It may seem like a bit of a backward way to paint, but laying the colour on like this gives a more painterly look to the work. I lighten the magenta by adding some white into the colour and then use a large brush to blend all of the adjoining colours together. There will be areas where blended paint will cover the trees in some parts. You can repaint in these areas with ivory black oil paint applied with a small round brush. I then let the painting become touch dry, which will take roughly a week. I then mix a little thickened linseed oil medium into each colour to make them translucent and paint these colours over the underlying colours. This is called a glaze. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the lesson and we'll see you next time.